Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mariam and today we're going to be discussing matrix multiplication from GCE O level syllabus. Let's get started. So I'll explain the concept question by question. So here's the first question on the screen. Let's start solving it. So the first thing you need to do while solving a question on matrix multiplication is that you write the order of both the matrices you're supposed to multiply. So the order of the first matrix is it has two rows and two columns. So the order for the first one is two rows by two columns. And what's the order for the second matrix here? Two rows, one column. So it's two by one. So the matrix multiplication is only possible when these two values are equal. So yes, they are in this case. That means we can go ahead and start multiplying this, this matrix. Okay, so how do we get the resultant matrix? The resultant matrix will have two rows and one column. So its order will be two times one. That means it's going to look like this. All right, so it will have two rows and one column. That means it would look like this. It will have a number here and a number here. So now let's see what number we'll get here and what number we'll get here. So let me get rid of the rest of the info on the board. All right, so what is this element? It's the first row and the first column. This is the first row, first column. So what I'll do, I'll multiply the first row of this one with the first column of this one. So how do we multiply it? You multiply the first value with the first value of the other one, plus you multiply the second value with the second value of the other one. So this gives minus eight plus three times six is 10. So the value is 10. That means you must write 10 over here. Okay. For the next one, it's the second row and the first column. So that means you multiply the second row with the first column. So what will this get us? Minus 1 times the first value of the other one plus 5 times the second value of the other one. So this is 2 plus 5 times 6. 32 yeah so this would be 32 so the answer is this for part a all right part b okay which is multiplication of these two matrices so the order of the first one is two rows two columns two by two and the order of the second one is two by two as well since the middle two values are equal that means we can go ahead and start our multiplication process and the order of the resultant would be two rows times two columns. So the order of this one will be two times two. That means it would look something like this. Two rows, two columns. So let's see what will fit in here. This is the first row and the first column. So that means for this one, you multiply the first row with the first column like this. So we get minus three times six. First entry gets multiplied with the first entry plus second entry gets multiplied with the second. So minus 18 plus eight is minus 10. So we get minus 10 here. Okay, for the next one, this is the first row and the second column. So for this, we're multiplying the first row with the second column. 
So that's going to give minus 3 times 5 first entry times first entry plus second entry times second entry. So minus 15 plus 7 is minus 8. So we get minus 8 here. For this one, this is the first row and the sorry second row and the first column so we multiply the second row with the first column so second row gets multiplied with the first column so 0 times 6 plus 8 times 8 which gives 64 so we get 64 over here and then the last one is second row second column so multiply the second row with the second column. So second row gets multiplied with the second column. So we get 0 times 5 plus 8 times 7, which is 56. So the answer for the last entry is 56. Next part. So the order of the first matrix is 2 times 1 two rows, one column, and the order of the next matrix is one by two, one row, two column. So since these two numbers are equal, that means matrix multiplication is possible, and the resultant matrix will have two rows and two columns. So two by two, that means it will look like this. Now I need the first entry. This is the first row, first column. For this, I'll have to multiply the first row with the first column. So that's 6 times minus 1, which gives minus 6. So we get a minus 6 here. For the next one, it's the first row and the second column. So let's multiply the first row with the second column. So 6 times 3 gives 18. So we write 18 over here. For the next one, it's the second row and the first column. Meaning, we're multiplying second row with the first column. 7 times minus 1 is minus 7. So we get a minus 7 here. And for the last one, it's the second row and the second column. So that means we're multiplying the second row with the second column. 7 times 3, which gives 21. So this is the answer for part C. Okay, part D. Let's write the order of both the matrices first. First one row and two columns. So one by two. And then two rows and one column. So two by one. Since these two values are equal, that means matrix multiplication is possible. And the resultant order will be one by one. So we'll have one row and one column. That means it's just going to be a single entry over there. Now, how do I find that single entry? This has one row and one column only. So we, I multiply the first row with the first column. So first entry gets multiplied with the first entry plus second entry gets multiplied with the second entry. So minus 6 plus 21 is 15. So the answer would be a tiny little matrix which has 15 in it. All right, next part, let's quickly write the order. Two rows, one column, and two rows, two columns. Since these two values are not equal, that means matrix multiplication is not possible. Multiplication is not possible because number of uh, columns of first matrix 
is not equal to number of rows of second matrix. Next part. So the order of the first one is 3 by 2. And the order of the next one is 2 by 2. Since these two are equal, we can go ahead and start matrix multiplication. The resultant matrix will have 3 rows and 2 columns. 3 rows, 2 columns. That means it will look like this. 3 rows, 2 columns. Okay. Now we need each individual entry. This is the first row, first column, meaning... We multiply the first row with the first column. Minus 1 times 2 plus 2 times minus 1. So this is minus 4. So the first entry here is minus 4. The next one is first row, second column. So for that we multiply the first row with the second column. So minus 1 times 3 plus 2 times 4. So that's minus 3 plus 8 which is 5. So we write 5 here. Next one is first row, sorry second row, first column. So second row, first column. So 8 times 2 plus 5 times minus 1, which will be 11. So we write 11 over here. For the next one, it's second row, second column. So we multiply the second row with the second column. First number gets multiplied with the first number. Second number gets multiplied with the second number. So that is uh, 24 plus 2044. So we write 44 over here. Similarly, the next one is a third row, first column. So multiply the third row with the first column. So 3 times 2 plus minus 7 times 1. So this is 6 minus 7, which is minus 1. So we get minus 1 over here. And then for the last one, it's this third row and the second column. So multiply the third row with the second column. So 3 times 3 plus minus 7 times 4. So 9 minus 7 times 4, that gives minus 90. So the value here would be minus 90. All right, next question. The order of the first matrix is 3 by 4. The order of the second matrix is 4 by 1. Since these two values are equal, that means we're good to start multiplying the values and the resultant will have order 3 by 1. 3 rows, 1 column. That means 3 rows and just 1 column. So this is first row, first column. That means first row gets multiplied with the first column. So it's going to be 3 times 2 plus 8 times minus 3 plus 0 times 0 plus 5 times 5. So what's that? 3 times 2 plus 8 times minus 3 plus 0 times 0 plus 5 times 5 gives me 7. So I'll write 7 over here. For the next entry, it's the second row with the first column. So multiply the second row with the first column. So minus 1 times 2 plus 0 times minus 3 plus 7 times 0, plus 6 times 5. So that's 30 minus 2, 28. And for the last one, it's 
the third row and the first column. So multiply the third row and the first column. So that's 4 times 2 plus 9 times minus 3 plus minus 2 times 0 plus 1 times 5. So 8 minus 27 plus 0 plus 5. That gives minus 40. So this value here is minus 40. All right. For this one, this is just one entry. So the order of this matrix is one by one. And the order of the next matrix is one row and four columns. So one by four. Since these two values are equal, that means we can start multiplication of the matrices. The resultant matrix will have an order one by four. That means it will have just one row and four columns. So this value here is the first row first column so that means we multiply the first row with the first column so half times one is just half so we write half over here for the next one it's the first row second column so first row gets multiplied with the second column so half times two is just one so we write one over here for the third one, again, first row, third column. So multiply the first row with the third column. So half times three is three by two. And for the last one, it's the first row with the fourth column. So first row, fourth column, half times four is two. So the last entry is 2 and this is all about matrix multiplication. I'll see you next time with another video. Allah Fizz.